Let's dive right into some shit, man. Tory Lanez. <laughs> it's I, about time. I'm not. I'm not really laughing because it's on funny, this. but it's just like Tory Lanez come in front of the black congregation, please, please come in front with the fucking chains on your knees and your, and on your head. Mm-hmm. So it's been confirmed that uh, Tory Lanez um, shot uh, Meg the Stallion. Stallion from from her mouth, at least. On the horse's mouth. Um, no pun intended. Hey, the, no, yo. yeah, the stallion, stallion yeah. horse. Yep. Hey, um, she went on IG Live to expose. You know, she said that um, she was going to keep it quiet. She was on a, she was going to you know not say anything until she found that mm-hmm. his legal team and his publicist team was going to you know block sites and saying that she was the culprit. She was the one that caused it. You know, things of that nature. And she, I guess she was sick of just, you know, the lies being told. So she just exposed it. And she didn't, she said she got shot for no reason. But in the back of my head, I'm just like, it got to be like something, yeah. something had to go wrong in his brain for him to think to pull out. The way she described it was she was in the passenger seat of the car, the truck. He was in the back seat. So they arguing back and forth. The whole car's arguing. There's four niggas in the car. Somebody driving, I think. Either her friend or his bodyguard, and then he was in the back with probably his bodyguard. I don't know. And then they, they all arguing all together, and then she was like, "You know, I'm done arguing. I'm leaving this shit." She left out the car. <laughs> when she was leaving, she said that he shot out the back seat window, mm-hmm. which is that's pretty crazy. Like I'm thinking the whole time, like maybe it's from the, uh, maybe he's driving, and I don't know. Maybe they was. I don't know, like scuffling a little bit, because it's easier to scuffle when niggas right beside you. But that's pretty. We finally got the answer. It's like now what? Exactly now. What? I think they investigating. Obviously, mm-hmm. um, if he gets arrested, but he get deported or some shit. Like how that work? You know how that works? No. That's called. That's called. <laughs> no, I was gonna say his name. <laughs> Your dad. Oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Call but, immigration. Nah, it's, um, in a, yeah. and you know what's crazy? Like, what's your thoughts on this? I mean. Well, I think it's pretty fucked up that his first reaction, regardless of what it is. I mean, it's very, very few things because I'm a proponent of, I don't know what was, what actually transpired. So I can't really take any sides. Well, I can't take any sides. So that's one. Damn, that. But, Fuck Tory but Lanez. <laughs> it's like, what made you want to choose, like, pulling out a weapon and shooting a black woman? Like, this is the most, like, appropriate response for this particular situation. Right. I want to know what it's made big, sense in you, what so your brain said to you. It's a bit extreme. For you to be like, yeah, this, this is the best fucking option. Right. This is better than C. Like, was she backing out a grenade or some shit? Like, the hell? <laughs> Did she just like, fucking what the fuck? Get her a gun machine? It's the sick. hell? So it's like, but then again, a lot of niggas are emotional nowadays, yeah. including entertainers, because people think like entertainers, like they're god. They're the these most deities. emotional. It nah, seems these like. niggas are very vain. These niggas are very fucking emotional, yeah. very insecure. This yeah. is why they have to over overcompensate and state how much they paid. Well, I paid three hundred fifty thousand for a pinky ring. Nobody needed to know that. Yeah. Okay, now that you did that, how is that making anybody lives better in the world? It's added motivation. Motivation now, is only. You could have told me you paid 50k. <laughs> say favorite line. You could have told me you paid 50k. That's believable. It looks nice. Yeah. It's glistening and all that. Yeah. You had to 350. So it's like, I don't see the point of that. But It's for motivation, that's why. Hey, niggas, <laughs> niggas is emotional though. <laughs> and you know, she said something very, um, when she said it, as soon as she said it, I just caught wind of it and I was like, wow, that's, that's crazy. She said something along the lines of the reason why he didn't get arrested initially because I didn't tell the police everything that went down. Because I'm thinking like everything going on, the police is shooting people for no fucking reason, shooting black, black people. people for no reason. Yeah. And I'm going to tell these niggas that we have a nigga in the car who, who has a gun in the car. Like I, I, I'm not going to do that. No telling what they're going to do to me or you. 
And then she went further. She was like, even afterwards, I wasn't speaking out because I was, this is not verbatim, but I'm paraphrasing. She said I was basically protecting this uh, uh this guy. I still didn't speak about it. Um, and she said something like, I'm sparing I'm sparing him or I'm giving him a break and y'all ain't giving me a break talking about the media making jokes and people laughing about it and shit like that. And that shit was mad telling and mad like when she said that I immediately knew what she meant like how black women are the most underappreciated fucking category of, of people unprotected. Yeah. on the planet. And it's like so many times I see black women on the forefront like like helping us and protecting black men. And a lot of times, I don't be seeing the same energy from us. Even in the midst you know of I mean? their own demise. I don't be seeing it. So it's like, this nigga shot her. On some she's bitch not, shit. She's not a... She's not include that crime. part. Oh, no. Nah, he's definitely on a some bitch. bitch he's, he's number one yeah. bitch right now. Um, twice, right? He not, shot twice? I, I think mean, it was multiple bullets. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah even, he shot twice. Because it it's said... It's like the, the first one, one it's like, okay, you could, you, he probably could have got off... Like maybe he was juggling it and it went off yeah. and but twice though is yeah. like come on and at the same area she got shot like, in both her legs the article said that I read I thought it was no nah, it's her ankles her feet well yeah, both her feet. feet both yeah. her feet hit, both her said. feet yeah but that's what they specify both her, for real, he though. shot her feet oh shit on some Harlem Nights type shit yeah my yeah, pinky toe yeah 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 yep. <laughs> you shot my fucking yeah pinky toe. um <laughs> okay but yeah he probably was. Trying to be cute or, or funny. I don't know. She I, probably was on some like. He's an ill nigga. Because um, you know black women got the clap back in terms of verbal. Yeah. So with the with a timid nigga, they're going to be like. Eh, eh. That's the guy? Yeah, because he's timid. Oh. Eh, I mean, where's my gun at? John, where's my gun? I check it though. You're going to get this bitch. Um, <laughs> I see. Uh Oh, my birthday. 7-Eleven. I'm always seeing Happy that. Happy birthday. I'm always seeing that. Yeah, 925 um, I saw last night. That's very telling, man. Like when she said that, I knew exactly what she meant. Mm-hmm. And so many times I see black women just on the forefront protecting black men because um, they know how hard we have it with, what's his name? Uh, Bun B said something on his Instagram today. And he said that black women protect black men so so hard the way they do is because they know how the rest of the world treats black men. They know how law enforcement is going to treat us. They know how, you know, the powers that be, white men or whatever, white people are going to treat us. Yeah, so it's like, better than us. They try to protect us from that. And this is like, this whole week since she announced that he shot her, for one, the jokes has been flooring. You know, it's memes and niggas making TikToks and people making skits about her getting shot. Even other women is, is saying shit like, this is why I be like stupid shit. I'm just like that's not that's not being sensitive. That's not it's not caring for her feelings. That's not it's not even a funny situation. Like it, it ain't even funny to me. Me me personally. Secondly, um, I see a bunch of niggas like victim shaming a little bit. Like, well, you know, um, you should have known who you was dealing with before you started hanging out with this person. And we don't know what she did, and we don't know what she said to him. And I heard that she maybe hit him, and you know what I mean? It's like it's not even in the not even in the tweet. It's like, yo, man, like I'm sorry what happened to Mega Sandman, but here's another perspective. It's not even like it's not even that. It's just straight. Uh, we don't give a fuck about what happened to Mega Sandman. Well, she probably did something. That was like the monster I've been seeing mm. online. And that's just crazy. <laughs> I think that's fucking crazy. Me personally, unless she had a gun her me, this this is me speaking. Unless she had a gun herself, or she had a fucking knife at his throat or some shit. She had a grenade, a grenade launcher, something. Him let's say, let's say she did slap him up. Let's say. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, it doesn't you back work. out a pistol, nigga. I got slapped up by Cheyenne in um in tenth grade. <laughs> Fat Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Fat Cheyenne, <laughs> not not fire Cheyenne. Oh, because there's three Cheyennes I know. It's the oh red, yeah, not guy It's the red Cheyenne jumpsuit either. Cheyenne. It's OG Cheyenne, and then it's Big Cheyenne. Big Cheyenne. Yeah. Okay, 
Yeah. Hippopotamus. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was, I was going to say something, but I was like, nah, I ain't going to say it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we was in the lunchroom and out of the blue, like. I never knew this. I don't know if you, you didn't fuck her up. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I know. But, that. um, I don't know if you, like, missed school that day or what, but it's me, Sean, David, you know, a couple other dudes from the football team. And, um, I'm just chilling. And she called me out the blue. She's like, oh, say I won't throw this at you. And it was like lunch food or whatever. Like out the blue? Out the blue. It was her, Chantel, and uh, Kenesha sitting down. And um, I was like, you won't. So she threw it at me. Like it was food or was it like milk cards? It was food. Like, like Luke's food. That shit that could go on your clothes. And- yeah. So I picked it up and I threw it back at her. And she got up, came to me. In front of her, oh yeah, I'll fuck your pussy ass off. <laughs> really? Tapping my head, yeah. What? And fuck? I was just sitting down and I was like, and she tapping my head, I was like this. Rashida and them, because remember these tables was right next. I was like, damn, I'm being embarrassed in front of my crush. <laughs> right, right, right. But they everybody was just looking and she ultimately made herself look dumb. Cause everybody know me, like, well, not everybody know me, but it's you, only like chilling. I'm ch- like, yo, that's yeah. a die, like Smart nigga, dress nice, low key nigga. But like, then y'all got along later on in later years. When she got back and sat down, Chantel and Kanisha was like, "Why you did that? Like we cool of that? Like it was out the blue. Yeah, out the blue. She probably liked you. Me, I was like, that's shit. We ain't got, I ain't got shit else to say. Oh, to so you. You, wait, you, wait. So you, when you meant slap you up, you mean like tap your head? Well, tap my head, not slap me like. Oh, I thought, <laughs> no, I thought you meant like, like slap your face. Shit. Nah, nah. Okay. She like tap my head, nudge my head. Wow. She probably like me. I don't know what's the point of you mentioning that. All that because <laughs> niggas made a game called Hunger Hunger Hippo. <laughs> All that because you man, you ain't get no compensation. That's crazy. It doesn't even matter, man. But That's yeah, on the um, what's your thoughts on that? Like the whole like what she said People about protecting. On. No, not even that. Just like, nah, I agree with her. Her with that protecting. This him is and blatant of shot. what's going on. Like in the midst of everything going on, this is fake. This is what I said. Not every black person is on that type of time with this shit. Not every celebrity that's black. Not every entertainer, whoever, pol- politician. These niggas is fucking fake. Point blank. Period. They're true to whatever is most conven- convenient to them. All through quarantine niggas was tuning into Tory Lane's shit. I'm pretty sure some of the people who made tweets and laughed at Meg are some of the same people who tuned into Tory Lane's shit with, you know, twerking and all that. Yeah, quarantine, quarantine radio. I tuned in a couple of times because I didn't, I didn't know he I was a nigga any. that was like this. I never watched any. I just, this shit entertaining. I just saw clips. I, I didn't know he was a but fucking I'm bozo. Like, I'm like, yo, like, this, th- y'all, y'all, I give y'all positive energy to this, the twerking shit. But, Negative energy you give to a black woman that was just domestically abused by the same nigga. What's up? This is why it's like when women say shit like niggas ain't shit. In my head, I'll be like, me, I'm the type nigga. Women, multiple women said that. I always say majority. I just, I I don't even say shit. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'll be agreeing. Like dating niggas. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't even want to hear. I don't care to be honest. If you're somebody who I know, like a woman, and your mentality is a certain like yeah we could definitely have that conversation you know chop it up i give you game about niggas and all that mm-hmm. but for as far as the average woman that i don't know saying that around me i don't care to rebuttal to it because right. you saying that does not you know depreciate me make me depreciate in no way shape or form right so it's like you're not doing shit to me i'm just like hey but Niggas ain't shit, but every year all these fucking abortions happening. Every year all these pregnancies happening. Every year, like, so who, 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 how are y'all magically getting pregnant and, and, and married and all this shit if niggas ain't shit? Well, married, yeah. I could, I could kind of explain the uh, pregnancies and shit, rape and shit. Well, t- 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 yeah, <laughs> some, some, not all these yeah, women. But I get what you're saying, raped. though. Like, women that say like, this, yo, but y'all then date the nigga that's yeah. a, clearly an asshole. We They're already been through that. Contradictory. We already spoke about that on the uh, episode. I think we had, it was Jennifer and. But I'm saying this girl. in terms of other women who is clowning Meg Thee Stallion, who is, whether you clown in her, you laughed at a joke. That's or you, know what it is? you are indifferent about it. You are still enabling. You are still pro dickhead. Right. And I can't fuck with you like that. I, I can't fuck with you for that. Right. You twerk your ass to her song. 
but then you clown her because she's fucking abused or, or that makes no sense yeah that's just show but how you much know of a is? leech you are you know what it is Me- Me- Stallion is is hot right now like she's probably which, the which number no one sense. female artist she's probably top five as far as popular artists on the planet right now as far as like you say her name, you hear her song, it's it's gonna ring. So it's probably just out of jealousy and hate. Like, even though we enjoy her music, we don't wanna like we don't wanna see everything good happen to her. We wanna see drama. We wanna see a little bit of turmoil. You know what I'm saying? We wanna make her look normal again. Okay, so now I have a question. People start seeing these niggas as like gods and shit. So they wanna bring them back down. So now I have a question. Do you think this is how majority of people or women view all top female artists like Nicki, Minaj, I think Cardi all, B. I think all artists, period. I think all... So people like, in I a think, sense, want to see like Beyonce like go through some drama. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down. Maybe not Beyonce. I feel like Beyonce has been on top of her game for so much and she's so like not... She's so like unproblematic that it's like that's not the frequency she on so you don't expect it so it's like i could see the hate in the beginning but she been so unproblematic for so long that it niggas in their mind niggas would it'd be, it'd be like well i'm really hating on beyonce she don't do shit mm. um but it's like i think with people in general most of the world is 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 like middle class poor mostly poor right and with that mindset, most people, I'm not saying, oh, obviously, most people in that mindset that grow up in that in that mm. type of like lifestyle, they have this mentality of eat the rich. You know what I'm saying? They don't want anybody that's, that's uh, they just have like this eat the rich mindset. They don't want, um, they don't want to see somebody that look like them doing better than them. It's like a poor mindset. That's why most people stay in that, in that realm because okay. it's, they're poor. They have a poor mindset that keeps them poor. So it's like, that's why I said most most people see celebrities and they, that, that's why all the tabloids and all the media companies, they strive off a negative post because the general population loves seeing that shit. Oh yeah, Drake's the top star. He was, his armor was uncracked. He got a baby that we don't know about? Oh yeah, let's egg that on. Let's, yeah, let's get that out of here. Yeah, let's. Oh, he got niggas Let's writing see. for him. Oh yeah, we even though even though Drake is unproblematic and he don't really he make good music. Yeah, let's let's focus on that that little part. We I need wouldn't that. say people really egged on the baby thing though. Nah, it was. She, you never know social media. Yeah, yeah, it was Twitter. But yeah. just like in if general, if it's Twitter, then yeah. On yeah. general, it's just like any nah, time. Nah, it's Instagram. I would say no. I can honestly say okay. No. <clears throat> Maybe less. Facebook on, definitely no. Maybe less on Instagram. But niggas was really like, wow, he's a deadbeat dad. Just because they didn't know about the baby. Like, we felt entitled. Like he fucking supposed to tell the niggas. Right. But it's like, I think about it. If somebody posts something about their family or they just post, you know, just like a wholesome shit. It gets noticed, but it ain't really no, wow, man. Like, look at you. Uh, look what J. Cole just did. He just did it. But as soon as it's like, yo, J. Cole cheated on his wife with a stripper? All the tabloids, a million views. People yeah. like seeing niggas Negative on a shit. pedestal that we put them on. We we it's like we big these people up to see them fall. That's you like you know why I think it is because life is about volatility. You're not always gonna be happy. You're not always gonna be sad. So if people, as far as like the general pop kind uh, society. See you with your wife, your family. You're being a stand-up dude. You always everything is always good. It's like this nigga is boring. That's why people start saying, "Oh, he's boring." Ciara's husband is boring. Look at the people they call bit boring. Stability equals boring they call in him society's corny head. Too. Yeah, corny and boring. Society when a nigga is usually a black man when he is respectful, stable committed to yeah. his woman usually a black woman not flashy not loud his own people call him corny lame yep. all of that yep but when you see a white man bill gates and melinda gates niggas been married for however long let's say hypothetically they've been married for 30 40 years and let's say hypothetically he never cheated on her 
Mm-hmm. Black people ain't saying one shit about him. What we doing? We going out, we buying Microsoft, we buying it's Xbox, like, though. We we buying that shit, though. But we not saying shit. But soon as, oh, no, oh, Jay-Z, oh, no, oh. It's like white people are invisible to, like, Be- hate from, like, hate as far as, like, chastisement from everyday black people. Us, because we gonna give niggas that work. I'm gonna tell you. But it's like, I always say, I, I always have a scenario that, like, if I was to write this, like, in a book, I will be like, black man in a, in a black neighborhood that are that is starting to slowly be gentrified, right? Where people mm. starting to ride bikes and shit. Like, my neighborhood. And he walked down the street, somebody who looked just like him, somebody black, tries to rob him. And the dialogue would be like, nigga, you trying to rob me? All these white niggas moving in. I ain't see I touch some niggas once. <laughs> I always think about that. Like, mm-hmm. if I, like, if I was to get a property, like, bro, you looking at me when Tom just moved in? Y'all ain't touched his pockets yet. You know what I mean? And it's very telling. It's like, they invisible to the hate you know why? from us. Because in these black people's minds, they have, one, accepted submission. They've been beaten into submission yep. by society. So in their mind, they are second class, even third class citizens to white people. They accept that shit. Right. So in their mind, it's like, all right, we in the slums, it's doggy dog in the slums. But when I go shopping after coming up on a lick from the slums and I go to shop at uh, Fifth Ave, Park Avenue, wherever, right? Well, it's Fifth Ave, mm-hmm. Park Avenue, and it starts on Park Avenue. And I see these wealthy people. I see these white people. Because niggas could be regular as fuck. I see these white people. Yeah. It's a different dynamic. Y'all not me. Y'all don't look like me. Y'all don't look like the ops. Yeah. Y'all niggas is... Y'all, y'all in a different class to yeah. me. I do not have direct competition with none of y'all. Because none of y'all look like me. And I see none of y'all in my direct community. In terms of right. where all the competition, you know... In terms of whatever, y'all, none of y'all took my girl. None of y'all can took my girl. I don't want y'all women. Uh, it depends because right. these niggas be on coon shit too. They don't see him as a threat. You're not a threat to me in no when way, shape, like or the form. Biggest threat. Even though you are indeed the biggest threat right yeah. now, as I'm totality, out here, you're yeah. writing policies that's gonna fuck me over and yeah. my community. But because I lack knowledge, I don't know none of this shit. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep operating out of ignorance, mm-hmm. and that's all it is. It's ignorance. But because you're ignorant, that does not give you, that does not mean that someone like myself will be lenient towards you if you come threatening my life Mm -hmm. or my family. Right. I understand why why you're doing what you're doing and where you're coming from, but. If you come in, this is not, now this is different. Now you come in at me now. This is personal now. Yeah. 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 You got to protect you and yours at at all costs. Exactly. For sure. That's it. But, um. That's all it is. Black people hate themselves. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Because they don't know themselves. Yeah. No more to say. Yeah. It's sad. No rappers calling this nigga out before we leave. No rappers. Like, come on, yep. bro. Now I'm going to have to look. Honestly, yep. if I was a rapper, I would have to look at a lot of niggas funny. But if I was a rapper, I, I would wouldn't I wouldn't with a last. lot of these niggas. I wouldn't last. I would, I, I I would, would not fuck with a lot like, of these niggas. Because, like, I would have to really, like, mute myself. But see, Because, you know, I'm super outspoken. Like, niggas ain't going to want to bring me nowhere because I'm calling everybody out. <laughs> I'm going to put both of us on a hot seat now. Yeah, and up? I'm gonna have to force myself to answer first, Abdallah. Yeah. <laughs> so now, this is me asking the question to both of us. So, how do y'all niggas feel, or what is the key distingu- distinguishing factor between a nigga like Tory Lanez doing what he did to Meg Thee Stallion and Fab doing what he did allegedly to Emily B? Because both of them are alleged. Look, those but no, are- no, no. Tory is not alleged because Meg yeah. actually said like Tory did this. It ain't legit with Fabulous either. It's okay, she but but Emily surgery. didn't come out. All right, yeah, yeah she, she, she got teeth yeah. surgery. See, look, my mom got teeth surgery. Nobody punched you, my mom in her mouth. 
That's why it is context. <laughs> I know. I know, but you said I was just capitalizing on but, the words that okay. you used. Oh, Come on, son. Bad. Come on. Do not disturb. Relax. Bro. Do not disturb. Damn. Right. Look, I already said multiple times on this platform and on Twitter and on IG that I'm not one to cape for Fab. I don't listen to that nigga. If it comes you don't on, listen to Fab no more? I don't. If it comes wow. on, I'll bump I it. I still listen to Fab. Like if it comes in the car, I know the words. <laughs> I may because I'm in somebody else's car. I don't own a car, so I'm gonna say don't turn. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but I already said multiple times like how. Just I think last month I said, yo, shit get real quiet when Fab name is mentioned. It's yeah. like, oh shit, like we mentioned domestic violence. Niggas who did that shit in the game. Oh yeah, he did it, he did it. Fab. Uh yeah. Uh I think he did it. It's like it get real <laughs> quiet. I ain't gonna and fight. I get it. He's a super likable guy. I get it. I understand it. I do not agree. No, I Okay. So the Fab route, once again. Same thing with the R. Kelly. I just know how to differentiate niggas. Like, yeah, but T Mac could be on some coon shit on ESPN. And you would still play with him. In I 2K? would still play with the Rockets and. But you 2K. know why? Okay, you know why I would understand that because I don't. I don't think you that would or he, you won't. I understand that oh, the two okay. K shit because I. It's like he's not getting any compensation from you just playing these meaningless games. I don't think so. By listening to R. Kelly, by listening to the streams. to a portion, you're supporting them. That's that's how I look at it. Okay, you know what I mean, yeah. but it's like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like, like I said, I'm very. It's really hard for the most part. I'm impartial, so it's like not everything that I support is worth supporting. You know what I mean? I agreed. Like so we so we pick and choose. Like I can't tell nobody not to bump R. Kelly because he's a fucking pedophile. I still bump R. Kelly. You know what I mean? Um, there are things that I, there are things that I still watch that may mm-hmm. had you know racial biases and shit. There, you know what I'm saying? Um, I still got clothes in my closet that I have bought from H&M. I haven't bought from them in a couple of years, but I still have those clothes. Nah, you've been buying from them. Still. Nah, I haven't. You told me you've been buying from them. Nah, when's the last time I bought from them? Last month. Nah, it hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't been real talk. Um. But it's like so, so, so I can't just you know I can't seem like oh yeah, everything I don't fuck with I don't support them at all. I mm. can't say that, but I'm just saying that by listening to their music, you are supporting them in a sense. But you separate the music from the person. It. But if you actually own the copy, and that's it, nobody like owns not. CDs anymore. I'm saying, but that's the difference, though. Okay, yeah, okay, that's yeah. the difference. But yeah, man, shit get real quiet with Fab. That and, is true. I've noticed it. And I know I've you said a lot it. of people, we're not speaking up. That's another thing. I can't, like, let's say J. Cole never speaks on the Mega and shit. I'm not going to hold it against him because we don't, no, know I'm not what, looking at we don't know what he's doing behind um behind closed doors. Now, if he was speaking up against the 6 9 shit, saying how he shouldn't be in the game, but he wrote quiet about Tory Lanez, then I'll be like, okay. You picking and choosing, yeah, and that's but if why I'm trying just, to like Kendrick. Where the fuck's Kendrick? He's been going for rappers. four years. I'm trying to stay on topic with the distinguishing between Fab and Tory, though, because we gave energy to I gave energy to Six Nine. Yeah, I get yeah, not a oh, lot, a okay. lot, but I stated my piece. But okay. with the Fab, I'm being honest, unequivocally honest. You like, lean, I've you're... I've not been as like harsh as you should be, partially because I really don't know what fully. Uh, me, I like judging shit extensively when I know shit for a fact. Like, this is what happened. All right, now I could judge it. But same thing I would say with Fab with the Tory thing. If it was something minuscule in terms of, like, emotionally driven, that is some bitch shit. I'm not going to hold my tongue with that. That's some bitch shit, once again. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. But if I hear a Chick's tape or a Fab song, I'm going to rap it. Best believe I'm going to rap it. But that don't mean me that I'm going to be become a bitch rapping it. Or that I'm going to hit a woman or shoot a woman rapping it. Mm-hmm. That's my whole thing. Because I know me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, to each their own. But that's just how I... A lot of niggas has been quiet. Yeah. And like you said, if niggas was rappers, we'd have been blacklisted. Probably. I'll be blacklisted. I'm like, y'all niggas is fake. I'll be like... I would try my best to be in the J. Cole, <laughs> K-Dot route. But you got to be like super talented. You can't be just, you can't be a nigga that could just rap and then you want to be 
Like you gotta be so nice that they can't black pull you. Yeah, you, you know what can't mean? deny that. And it's only a couple niggas like that. Yeah. Literally. J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, Jay Z. That's probably where it stops. Like as far as like niggas could there's a there's a bunch of talented artists like while he's talented, he always saying he don't get the shine he deserves. It's probably reasons for that. Yeah, Rick Ross. You know, too. Big Sean says he's underrated. It's big probably Sean, reasons for yeah. that. Rick Ross is probably reasons for that. Yeah, but a lot of when people. When you so eat. big, like I can tell you right now, Drake could get dropped by every label, every radio station could be like, "We're not playing no more Drake." The nigga will not. He will not fall off his game. Same thing with J Cole. Same thing with J. Oh, uh, Kid 